Hi, this is John from SysEng Quick. Today I'm going to show you the basics of IP tables. What is IP tables? It's the main interface into the Linux kernel net filter system, which does all the packet filtering in Linux. So essentially, IP tables can be thought of as a firewall. IP tables is a set of rules contained within chains which are contained within tables. That's where IP tables gets its name. There are three default tables, the mangle table, the NAT table, and the filter table. Most firewall related duties happen in the filter table, which is the default table. This does all of the packet filtering and it's where we'll begin. Let's take a look at the filter table. If we run the IP tables command, with the dash capital L option, it will show us the chains and rules in the default filter table. By default, most systems won't have any rules. Red Hat is an exception to this, but most rules won't have them. Without any rules, all traffic will be allowed. There are three default chains in the filter table. These are the input chain, the forward chain, and the output chain. The input chain contains rules that filter traffic coming into the Linux box. The output chain can contain rules that filters traffic leaving the Linux box. And the forward chain is for traffic being routed through the Linux box. We'll focus on the input and output chains for now. Notice the policy to the right of the chain names. By default, that policy is accept. The policy means what happens if no rule matches in this chain. So, by default, with the accept rule, all traffic is allowed. Two other policies that are useful are the drop policy and the reject policy. The drop policy causes any traffic that does not match a rule to be dropped. It will be as if the machine never got the packet. The reject policy is similar in that it won't accept the traffic, but it will also send an ICMP rejection back to the sender. So let's make a couple of quick rules. Let's add a rule to allow all incoming and outgoing traffic and then change the default policy to drop. To do that, we'll run IP tables dash capital A for append, the name of the chain, which is input, and J, which is the target or the jump chain, is accept. We'll do the same thing for the output. Output, not output. Now we can change the policy of the chains. So, sudo IP tables dash P for policy, the chain name, and the new policy. Input is dropped, forward is dropped, output is dropped. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So, what have we accomplished here? It's a subtle but important difference. Now, all the traffic that doesn't match a specific rule will be dropped. But since we need some more rules to allow the traffic that we want, we've added rules to allow all traffic by default. Later, we'll replace these rules with more tailored rules. Alright, that's the basics of IP tables. See you next time.